Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> well, not many people know it when I say, Make sure you leave a little room for a tasty bit. <laughs> <laughs> However, my guest knows. <laughs> I know tasty bits. <laughs> <laughs> tasty bits. This is Chuck Viscanyan. He's the founder of the Rockman Record Club, a frequent guest here, and somebody who, when we start talking about music, you might as well just go to the refrigerator, okay? Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, thanks, Jesse. Good it's to be here. Great to have you here. Always good to be here. Tasty bits. Tasty bits. Now, okay, some artists understand that some are born with it some need to be taught it yes what is it well it's just that way you know what we're talking about today is we're talking about the Fleetwood Mac rumors album right and what and the tasty bits Lindsey Buckingham the guitar player that that joined Fleetwood Mac on the 10th album right. uh, brought the tasty bits right. he just knew the little guitar parts the little flourishes the king of accents knew how the accent specific parts we were talking about it earlier just that little little off key That's slightly right. out of That's rhythm right. but it makes the whole song it's a little thing that you hear and you go wow you know and when when you talk about that think about that for a second uh we were talking about uh don't stop and he does something and don't stop one time and one time only. And every single time that song, you, you start listening to that song, you're waiting Wait for, that. for that part. Yeah. That's a tasty bit. Yep, so exactly. uh, if you know, um, <laughs> Chuck has been really chronicling and doing this wonderful presentation on a bunch of very, very critical albums in pop culture. Uh, rumor has it, oh, Pun intended. Yeah, rumor had it, pun intended. Very good. <laughs> that uh, the Sly and the Family Stone one was a lot of fun. A couple oh, of people yeah. were dancing. Our oh, right? yeah, just a couple. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of people were dancing. It's a danceable record. But when you, he did Steely Dan Asia, and um, as he does frequently at the end of these presentations, he said, what would you like me to do next? And he said, how about rumors? And the place went crazy. Absolutely. And there's a real reason for that. Yes. Um, this, is, this is an album that I don't care where you go, to find the, the information out is always in the top 10 best-selling albums Absolutely. of all time. Of all time. That means like 20 million albums? 20, 20 million just in the United States. They've sold over 40 million records. Right. 40 million mm -hmm. worldwide. Now, you know, when you talk about bands, uh, it's, it's not so much what they play a lot of times, it's what they don't play, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Yes, absolutely. Allowing the space to exist for the tasty bits. For the tasty bits, absolutely. Or, or also the space to exist so the dynamics have more room to breathe. Yeah. Right? Yes. These songs are not, you know, when I, li I listen to rumors, you know, we talk about the sales as if it's a big, it's the pivotal thing. It's really not as important to me as as the quality of the record. And, and when I was listening to it and the time it was released, the stories behind the songs, all that stuff is really, that's where I enter into it with the record. Mm -hmm. The sales is just an additional piece of uh, cool information. But they had such an ability to not overplay. They That's played right. everything you wanted to hear and nothing you didn't. That's and right. I know that's a, a strange sentence, but roll that around in your head a little bit and yeah. think about this album. It's such a great album. It's a whole album's a tasty bit. Yes, Every right. song perfectly leads into the next. Right. Every idea, every theme makes up for an album that it's about heartbreak and loss and you, at the end, unity. Yes, right. And it's really, it's just such a, it's iconic for me. It, it really says something. It's this very specific period in time. High school relationships were done. I was 21 years old when mm -hmm. the album came out. Mm -hmm. High school stuff was done. The college experiment had failed. And here was the Fleetwood Mac Rumors album telling me about this is what you can expect from relationships. Well, you know what? <laughs> uh, the reason that, that he's mentioning this is that uh, and this is so typical in that world, as you know. You know, this one is with uh, Mamas and Papas, for instance, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. There are all kinds of affairs going on between, in, between members of the, of the group and with outsiders and producers and all of those assorted things. But this was a very tightly knit group where the McVees and Lindsey Buckingham 
and, uh, and Stevie and Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Yep. We're very involved, and of course, Mick Fleetwood was floating in and out of all of that. And right? he was he was in the midst of a divorce as well. Mm -hmm. you know? And so these it was, songs it was are very much about that, Very right? much about that, yes. Pick a song. Don't stop. Tell, okay, good. Tell it's us my favorite it. song on the record. Uh, it's just it's an um, it's a, an uplifting song. Christine, it's a Christine That's McVie right. song, and the, the vocals are credited to both Christine McVie and Lindsay Buckingham. And they do this interesting thing, and this is the genius of Buckingham. This is a tasty bit to me, yes. and it, it's a theme throughout the song. Buckingham takes the first verse. Uh, Christine McVie takes the second verse. When they sing the chorus to, together, they sing mixed absolutely perfectly together. Mm -hmm. You can't hear a distinction in the voice. That's it right. becomes a third voice. That's right. And it's so powerful. It's yeah. so cool. And it brings that whole song into a tight focus. And the lyrics are positive. Mm -hmm. Christine McVie is talking to her soon-to-be ex-husband, John, mm -hmm. and telling him, don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Right. The, the past is, is gone. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. What happened, happened. But don't stop living today and thinking about tomorrow. It's just... Isn't it, for, She's, isn't it remarkable? It's a remarkable, it's a remarkable sentiment. And it's one that wherever we've been in our period of time, uh, I, guess if, I guess if you've only had one relationship, you're lucky. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of us have gone through many to get to the relationship that, that sustains us. And I think that's a piece of what she's talking about in that. And that's sort of the, the idea, the thought that runs through rumors that as bad as it gets, we can still be together in this thing, in this yes, music, yes, right. which is the way we all communicate, right? That's I mean, right. It, for me, well, it, you know it is. what? Um, all summer long, you've heard me say, "Art is language." Yes, that uh, we speak and we communicate that way, but musicians communicate at a completely different level. The emotion that comes out, the tasty bits yes. that come out, the space and respect they have for each other, and the dynamics. And this album represents it in a way that very, very few albums have ever attained. So, Rockman presentation of Rumors is at Cafe Lean. It's always on a Tuesday night. Yes, absolutely. And it's this Tuesday coming up, which is the 18th. The doors open at like 6.30. Yep. You go in, you relax. Chuck is always relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> and just get ready for a couple of hours of listening to some of the best music in the world with a bunch of very insightful comments and and views and oh, yes, you. you're you're a walking and historian about this stuff. <laughs> well, Chuck, I great! It. I can't wait for Tuesday. I can't wait for it either. Thank great. you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, Thanks for coming Jesse. in. I appreciate it. Thank you. See this interview again. Don't stop. You can go to our website, looktvonline.com. <laughs>